need computer training for a group or office, contact us today to get a free demo of our training at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing. To print a view of your project file, first ensure that you are viewing the project file in the desired view that you want to print. Then click the file tab within the ribbon and select the print command at the left side of the backstage view. To the right you will see the printing options that are currently set, followed by a large print preview of the content of the selected view of the project file. You can select the printer to use for the print job from the printer drop-down. Under the settings section you can choose what to print from the first drop-down available. Note that if you select to print only specific pages or only a specific date range, then you must enter the pages or date range to print into the next fields that follow this section. You can then choose the page orientation and page size from the final two drop-down menus. At the right you can see a large print preview of the view being displayed. In the far lower right corner of this window, you can click the arrows that point up, down, left, and right to scroll through the pages shown. You can click the Actual Size button to display the preview pages at actual print size. You can click the One Page button to display one page at a time within the print preview. You can click the Multiple Pages button to display all of the pages within a multi-page view at once within the print preview window. To apply Advanced Page Setup Settings, click the Page Setup hyperlink at the bottom of the Print section to open the Page Setup dialog box where you can apply Advanced Page Setup features, such as a legend for your view and a header and a footer. Within the Page Setup dialog box, you can click the Page tab at the far left to display the page settings. In the Orientation section, you can select the desired page orientation. Below that, in the Scaling section, you can select the desired scaling to use when printing the view. You can adjust the page to a percentage of its normal size by choosing the Adjust To option button and then entering the desired percentage into the adjacent spinner box. You can also select the Fit To option button and then enter the number of pages wide by the number of pages tall into the adjacent spinner boxes. In the Other section, you can select the paper size from the Paper Size drop-down. You can manually enter the first page number, if desired, into the First Page Number field. On the Margins tab, you can enter the desired margin increments into the top, left, right, and bottom spinner boxes. You can choose to apply borders around every page, only to the outer pages, or around no pages by making a selection in the borders around section. You can create a header for your view by clicking the header tab. Headers allow you to insert additional information at the top of printed pages such as the number of pages in total for example. At the top of this tab is a preview section that displays the type of content that will print in the header based on the selections that you make. Below that, select whether the information you want to enter into the header should appear in the left, center, or right sides of the page by selecting the tab that corresponds to the name of the section into which you want to enter header information. You can then enter information into each section if desired. Now within the currently selected section, just click into the large white text box and type the information to display. You can also insert commonly used fields of information by clicking the buttons shown below the text box. At the far left, you can click the Format Text Font button to open a font dialog box where you can set the font used for the header information. The next buttons from left to right will insert fields for the page number, the number of pages, the date, the time, and the file name. The far right button is the insert picture button and it will open the insert picture dialog box when clicked which allows you to insert a picture from your computer into the selected header section. 
Below that, you can choose a field name from the General drop-down and then click the Add button that appears to the right to add the selected field to the header. You can also select the name of a field within the project file from the Project Fields drop-down and then click the Add button that appears to the right to add the field to the header. Note that you can also add information to the footer of a printed view by clicking the Footer tab. You create a footer in the exact same way that you create a header. However, the information is simply shown at the bottom of the printed pages versus being shown at the top. To add a legend to the view so that readers of the view can interpret the colors and shapes shown in the view, click the Legend tab. You can then decide on which pages to display a legend by making a choice from the Legend On section that's shown at the right side of the dialog box. Legends can appear on every page, a separate legend page, or you can have none. You can then enter the width of the legend in inches into the Width spinner box. If you want to set the font used to display the legend labels, you can click the Legend Labels button to open a font dialog box where you can select a font to use. Then click the OK button within the font dialog box when finished to apply it. You can click the View tab to set any special settings for the specific type of view that you have selected. For example, if you're printing a calendar view, you will see options for printing the months and weeks in the view. If printing a Gantt chart, you will see options regarding the printing of columns. Note that the options that are displayed here will vary depending upon the specific view selected, so you should always check the options available here on this tab when printing your view to be sure that it prints exactly the way that you want. When you're finished setting your advanced page setup options for your view within the Page Setup dialog box, click the OK button to apply them. When you're ready to print the view, enter the number of copies to print into the Copies Spinner within the Print section, and then click the large Print button to print the selected view. Like what you see? Get a free demo of our training for groups of five or more at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise licensing.